me what to do. <laughs> I know you're the one doing the interview, but ask her about the wigs. Go on, ask her! It's okay, Joyce, I'll answer. Yes, they were wigs that come in the most vivid shape. That makes them look like fake alien white hookers! Can you stop interrupting me? The wigs are a way of taking the dance hall setting and the wigs outside of themselves. The same way that playing mass does at carnival. They're mocking themselves and expectations of themselves. And I say, good for them. What do you mean that makes sense? <laughs> You're supposed to be impartial, remember? What are you doing taking sides? Yes, you are, and it's ridiculous. You know that. Play mass my ass. Come on, get up. Show us, show us. Touch me one more time, and I'll slap you so hard you'll think you're white. <laughs> 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 what do you want, Miss Pearl? What she knows can happen. <laughs> have him. I mean it, Nate Francis. Ever since Otis took up with you, all I had is trouble. Folks talk. Even the pastor know what Otis be on Sunday after church. I'm through. You got the wrong idea, Miss Pearl. I don't need a husband. What I got here is a liquor business. <laughs> Otis ain't brought groceries home for over two years. Told me his mama in Ohio needs some operations. I should have thought she'd been dead ten years. <laughs> Tell him the things we got on the front porch tonight. Good night, May Francis. See you in cry rehearsal. Well, uh, men like that give me trouble. I don't need to be no part of no major interference like that. As soon as you know it, Mr. Otis can running out the front door. 